want to be able to test the understanding of your students, you can create a quiz that can be customized to fit your e-learning environment. Begin by opening the presentation where you will be adding the quiz. If this is a new presentation, you must save it first before you can add the quiz. Choose Quiz Manager from the Adobe Presenter menu. When you open the Quiz Manager for the first time, a default quiz is displayed. You can use the default quiz or add more quizzes as necessary. In the New Quiz dialog box, click Edit to accept the default name or enter a new name in the Name text box. Then, in the New Quiz dialog box, select an option to determine if users must take or pass the quiz. When selecting an option, consider how the quiz fits in with your e-learning strategy for the presentation. You can require users to pass the quiz or allow them to skip the quiz. You also need to think about some other, th other settings for the quiz. You can decide whether to allow the user to move backwards and forwards when taking the quiz or to review the quiz before submitting for grading. You can also sh select Shuffle Questions to prevent users from sharing answers. If this box is selected, Adobe Presenter will shuffle the questions so everyone gets asked the questions in a different order. Click the Question Review Messages box and you can customize feedback for each question. For example, you can add feedback for correct, incorrect, or incomplete answers. Take the time to customize feedback messages to accurately communicate with the presentation users. You can specify what the passing score is by clicking the Pass or Fail Options button. For example, if a student fails the test, you can decide which actions should be taken. You may choose to send the student back to the beginning of a section to review the content. Click OK when you are finished with the quiz setting. You can also create groups of questions that are associated with specific topics. For example, you can create 10 questions for each group and then have Adobe Presenter randomly select two or three questions to ask the individual student. Now that we have created the quiz, it is time to add the questions. You can select which type of question by add, pressing the Add Questions button. There are six different types of questions in Adobe Presenter. Multiple choice, true or false, fill in the blank, short answer, matching, and rating scale, which is similar to a Likert. Choose the type of question you would like to create and fill in the question properties. Let's look at a simple example. Under multiple choice questions, you can insert your text. In this case, what color is not in the American flag? Create your answer options and then select the correct answer. It is also possible to select more than one correct answer. At the bottom of the question type box, you can see that you have two different types of questions. Graded questions that have right or wrong answers or survey type questions. You decide which fits your assessment objective best. When you create a question, a new slide is added to your presentation. The new slide's design is based on the master slide template, so the question slide will look like the other slides in your presentation. Continue until you have created all questions and click OK in the Quiz Manager. Adobe Presenter can help you create interactive e-learning presentations that allow you to monitor student progress and provide continual feedback on their performance. I encourage you to get started now.